The Cavaliers, they've won just four games out of their last ten, and they know they can do better. This team has talent, and they'll try to bring it together and get things back on track with a win. Bucks, Cavs, coming right up on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Thanks, guys. The Cavaliers have become a gritty team. Darius Garland says, we're some dogs. You're not going to just come to Cleveland and roll over us anymore. We're going to show some fight, some grit, some competitiveness. And that's what we're trying to do every night. We're here. Kevin, back to you. I like what Cleveland's doing. All right, David, thank you so much. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Portis in at the five down low. And for Cleveland, the defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell, and it's Lavert in at the small forward. G.A., it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Holiday with it. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Mobley. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. First one falls. Obviously, both these teams love to attack the glass, rebounding. So that stat, Greg, could end up being a deciding factor here tonight. There aren't going to be any free second chances tonight. These squads need to be ready to get physical and fight for every single possession. falls so he hits both of them and Giannis's journey GA is so incredibly compelling a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA well you hear that saying my life is like a movie never truer than for Giannis it's been an odyssey for the Greek freak here's Allen what a tremendous game he played against Toronto Middleton against LaVert. And Middleton kicks to Allen. That three off the mark. Mitchell outside. And the three ball is good. And this is what makes Mitchell dangerous. His ability to rise up immediately after catching that pass. Holiday against Garland. Middleton inside the three-point line. Mobley with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Lavert against Allen. And it's Lavert missing. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one tough to keep the consistency from deep but they did it last time 
Cavaliers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Mitchell outside. Wound up there for Allen. That goes out of bounds. That one off Levert. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Mobley against Adetokounmpo. Here's Holiday. Great pass to set up the lay-in. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. On the wing, Holiday. Over Garland, and no good. Trying to use the glass. Over Cleveland, their last game, a win against Golden State. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. They were hustling to get in front of every play they could, always getting a hand in the shooter's face. Holiday with the three, and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. So timeout called here, the first for Cleveland. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. Now Allen, after Darius Garland missing on that last three-pointer. Allen passes to Middleton. Kicks it out to Allen. Lock at six. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide-open teammate, Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Mitchell outside. Allen surveying the D. Lavert the pass to Mitchell. Levert. They could use a bucket. Allen trying to break free. Rebounded by the Bucks. They went to Cleveland for their last meeting with the Cavaliers, and they came out with the win. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And if they can keep that same physicality, you have to think they'll be in a good position to grab another win here. Mitchell. And the rejection by Giannis! And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that. Image. It's Levert on the wing. Defended by Middleton. Allen kicks to Mitchell. Back to Allen. Banked in off the glass. For a big, Allen is so fluid. Setting a pick and then gracefully rolling into position. Milwaukee leading by six. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. Allen against Mitchell. Back to Giannis. And stolen by Mobley. They get a hand on it and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Oh. 
Milwaukee is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Levert against Middleton. Shoots over Levert. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Cavaliers trail by six. Mitchell wide open. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Mitchell's got five. A solid passer at his position. Levert excels at finding his teammates when they're open. Pass to Allen. He kicks to Middleton. Five to shoot. Holiday, no one around him. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Mobley. And he makes good on the way up. Getting better at recognizing when his teammates are open. Garland, great time right there. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. And so it's Milwaukee now. Now, Kumbo. And he also played really well on that win against the Raptors. Allen for three. Holiday, the pass to Portis. Now to Kumbo trying to free himself up. Portis can't get it to go. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. And how about the burst there of speed from Holiday on the drive, zipping in before the D can rotate. The Cavaliers trail by four. Mitchell outside. Wound up there for Allen. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Wow, that is a strong move there to go in for the dunk. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. Take a break. Take a break. He's off on the first. And one thing that is special about Evan Mobley made an immediate defensive impact as a rookie. Something few big men are able to do. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Lopez comes in for Portis, and Jake Crowder's subbed in for Chris Middleton. That one is no good. As you said, very few rookie big men, Greg, can shape a defense like Mobley did. Kind of reminds you of the impact Tim Duncan had with his defense. But Mobley can protect the rim and stay in front of guards on the perimeter. Boy, sky is the limit for him defensively. Now, here's Mitchell. And then Allen slams it in. And this is why you feed the big fella Allen on the inside. With his size, he is a major threat anywhere around that hoop. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The pass to Lopez. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Here's Mobley. Cleveland gets it back. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Mobley against Giannis. Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Holiday against Garland. Here's Allen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it.
free throw. Good, Allen. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Stevens has checked in. Green comes in for Karis LeVert. Okoro, he's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Garland. And Allen drops them both. The right GA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton. They nailed just about every one of their selections. Now, here's Okoro. To the inside. And it's Allen with the jam. An incredible reverse throw down. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Timeout called the Bucks. One area Isaac Okoro has shown lots of growth, Richard, is in his defense. Yeah, he's becoming a talented stopper. you got to find ways to get on the floor, and defense is one of them. It's something you can tell he's worked on, but there's just something about his natural ability and the way he's leaned into it. Past angles. Here's Bochamp. Pass to Crowder. Kicks it to Ingles. Out to the right wing. Here's Bochamp. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Here's a Coro. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Rubio against Connaughton. Lopez up top. Lost to Bochamp. Here's Crowder. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Bucs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Makes the first. And both free throws good from Crowder. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. And Rubio kicks to Green. Rubio against Connaughton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team, this is a squad that really wants to get out of that championship team's shadow. They want to establish their own identity. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Okoro. We talked about it, Richard. The city of Cleveland eternally grateful to LeBron for winning them a title back in 2016. And so is the franchise, but it's understandable why these players want to be given respect on what they've done for this team since he left, especially considering the recent success they've had with this young crew. Good on both. And Milwaukee has possession. Trailing by two. And here is Connaughton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Lopez passes to Connaughton. And it's sent back by Allen. Oh, and with that wingspan of Allen, you always have to be aware of where he is because he will block a shot from pretty much anywhere. The pass to Okoro. Wound up there for Allen. Hammers the alley-oop through. 
Making full use of that reach. Allen able to pluck the ball out of the air for that easy lob. Rubio against Connaughton. Passes it to Bochamp. Six on the shot clock. Doesn't go for him. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's a Coro. Steffens. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Cavaliers have made two and missed two at the line tonight. That free throw, no good. And the missed free throw starting to be an issue. So he comes up empty, missing both. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. Ingles passes to Bochamp. Back to Ingles. Crowder with it. Puts it up from 12. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. To the middle. Here's Stevens. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. 1 for 2 this game. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Connaughton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Green passes to Stevens. Now here's Okoro. Ingles covering. Kicks it out to Allen. Pass to Okoro. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Rubio misses. Bucks trail by four. Ingles with the ball. Now Green defending. Down low. Bochamp misses in close. Cleveland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Okoro. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Crowder. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And that one is good. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. And the basket by Rubio. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Here's Bochamp to the paint. Here's Crowder. Missed inside. Jared Allen has been on display for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. A Coro out there with Karis Levert. Then it's Evan Mobley. Then it's Mitchell. And it's Garland in at the point. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Lavert hits both of them. 
Here's Giannis. Right side, Portis. Outside, Holiday. And Darius Garland picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Allen with it. Parted now by a Okoro. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. Cleveland leading by four. Mitchell outside. Now here's Lavert. 11 points for him in that last game against Golden State. Here's Mobley. Milwaukee with the rebound. I thought he had that ball sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Count that one. Allen's got seven points. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. That was the 2K drive. Does that move deserved another look? And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. the free throw drops for him and the picture of consistency Chris Middleton is like a metronome gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year pass to Levert Mitchell feeling it out a bit over Allen shots good by Mitchell he has seven and that's Mitchell at his best playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D grabbing for air and one reason for Middleton's consistency he plays at his own pace and that's a great point Kevin with his size and shooting touch he doesn't need to blow by his man to score all about getting to his spots here's Mitchell on his honor to Kumbo making his last shot Pope loose and we're going to have a jump ball it's tied up there And here are the Cavaliers now. It's stolen by Allen. Inside. Here's Middleton. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. Levert with a wide open look. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Cavaliers trailing. Lavert kicks to Garland. And the pass to Okoro. He dishes it to Mitchell. And then Mitchell at the dunk. What an incredible elevator. Don't tell Mitchell he's six feet. Donovan plays way bigger. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. It's Giannis with the drive. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? 
I never have and I <laughs> never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now. And you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Levert. Bounce pass from Garland. Mitchell against Allen. Shoots from 12. And it's sent back by Allen. Over to the left wing. Portis against Mobley. Portis, the pass to Giannis. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time for Middleton. Here's Allen. And then Allen slams it in. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Mitchell. Now Mobley. Garland the pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at five. Off target from three-point range. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 13-4 run. It's Allen on the wing. Covered by Mitchell. The shot by Holiday. No good. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Here's Osman. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Bobby Portis. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. And it's a combo. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. good from out of the Kumbo. The Cavaliers trail by five. Mitchell outside. Garland looking it over. Pass to Osman. Just five to shoot. Mobley wide open. Three pointers off the mark the defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Here's Middleton. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And the Cavaliers call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time 
for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And Cleveland making a change here. Allen's checked in. Holiday against Garland. A slam dunk by Garland. The quick thinking of Garland in the pick and roll. His decision making is so impressive. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on an 18-7 run. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Kumbo inside. Mobley's there. And it's sent back by Allen. Here's Allen. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Here's Osman, defended by Middleton. And it's Osman missing. Bucks leading by five. Allen outside, down low. And Giannis gets it to go on the assist by Allen. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. Bounce pass from Garland. Pass to Osman. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Lock at six. Locked up there for Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. Fantastic work from Allen. Taking the contact on the chin. Burying the shot. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The pass to Holiday. And a great assist by out of the Kumbo as that one goes in. Holiday's got six points. And just a great second quarter for them after such a difficult first, bringing that field goal percentage up from below 30, and now with the lead. And it's Mitchell missing. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by seven. Greg, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoffs, doesn't he? And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Stevens has checked in, and it's green and for Jetty Osman. Crowder, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Joe Ingles comes in for Grayson Allen. Now, here's Rubio. Back to Allen. Knocked away. It's so about it's a Kumbo. There's the dish to Middleton. On the wing, Holiday. It's stolen by Green. And now, the pass break. Mitchell with the ball. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And understanding where to run to in transition, Mitchell is very opportunistic when the break is on. Timeout called the Bucks. And how about the impact that Green has on his teammates? He's been doing it for over a dozen years. A three-point specialist and a starter for the majority of his career. Great veteran presence for them to have in the locker room. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Bucks leading by five. Holiday with it. Stolen by Rubio. And Mitchell with a clear path to the hoop. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. 
A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. And now, let's take one more look at that great mobile one drive. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. Holiday, the pass to Connaughton. Outside, Crowder passes it to Ingles. Six to shoot. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. For Milwaukee, they have been a perfect 8-8 eight of eight at the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Drops them both. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Here's Ruby. Mitchell outside. Back to Rubio. Pass to Steffens. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks leading by five. Here's Holiday. Makes it off the glass. Holiday's got four points this quarter. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. It's game one of a three-game road trip. Allen up top. Lopez covering. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Hard to stop a guy with Allen's physical gifts inside. He forces the defense to get sloppy and foul. For Cleveland, they have been shooting 50% at the line. 5 of 10. Shooting two. That one is off. Allen is a monster on the glass and continues to improve as a scorer. And he sinks the second. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Six-point game. Pass to Connaughton. And here is Ingles. Shot clock at six. Feeds to Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the chart. And so here's Cleveland. Rubio, the pass to Green. Rubio against Holiday. Outside, Green. Five on the clock. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. They might start using him a little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. One thirty-one left in the first half. There's the pass to Mitchell. Lock at six. Shoots from the elbow. Goes back up. And Lopez with the block. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up 
with the SWAT. Want to see more of this from the big fella. And they really haven't made much of an impact on the offensive glass here in the second quarter. There's been a significant drop-off in that area. And they really haven't been able to get into any kind of an offensive flow this quarter. And that one, good. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they've really started to get it closer to the basket. 54 seconds left in the first half of the game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Allen dishes to Green. Mitchell outside. Shot from 12. The offensive rebound. Allen kicks to Mitchell. It's over Connaughton. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The aggressiveness of Mitchell. Willing to take on the entire team to earn that foul. And you figured once Gobert was traded, it, it was a matter of time before Mitchell was moved as well. You knew a team would jump at the chance to add him. And here we are now. A, a new start with a starring role for Donovan Mitchell. And he can't get the first one. Lavert's checked in for the Cavaliers. The Bucks making a switch here. And the second free throw, good. Bucks leading by nine. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. To the middle. Here's Bochamp. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bochamp's got his second basket of the game. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Ingles against Mitchell. With one on the clock. Can't hit from in close. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. With J.B. Bickerstaff, Coach, what will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? Well, we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep down in the post. We got to be very aggressive early, not letting them get deep post catches, make them have to kick the basketball out, not take those easy buckets. That is doing your work early, and we'll see if you can do it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He ended up with 17 points, 12 rebounds, and one steal. He's really stood out for them to this point. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucs? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting good shots, it's about getting good shots. If you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from Cleveland? They've been out of sync in this one, shooting under 40%. Struggling to create good looks and settling for tough shots. I like to see them drive the basketball more and get easy buckets. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started.
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The Cavaliers trail by 11. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Portis in at the center filling out the middle. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Middleton against Garland. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got rebound number eight now on the night. Allen against Mitchell. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's Milwaukee leading by 11. Here's Middleton, and he gets the bucket. Middleton's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for Milwaukee. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. Still going hard. And that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Now, here's Mitchell. Mobley looking it over to the inside. Now, Mitchell over Allen. And it's good off the back rim and in. Mitchell's got 16 points. Great mechanics from Mitchell on that one. You can count on him when he's at that range. Passes it to Allen. Over Mitchell. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That's his fourth foul of the contest. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Levert the pass to Allen. And it's Allen slamming it down. And this is how dominant Allen can be. If you continue to feed him, he will reward you. The Buck shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Kicks it out to Allen. A three ball. And no good that time. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's foul number two for him. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anna Dekumbo. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He still got a good outcome. Now, here's Mobley. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Levert the pass to Mobley. And bringing that effort on both ends. Giannis, a first-team all-defensive player. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Outside Garland. Pass to Levert. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. Oh, tricky shot for Levert. Defense is all over him, but he draws a foul on that attempt. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here.
And the free throw drops for Levert. Levert hits both of them. Bucks leading by nine. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Allen outside, fires the three. And a great assist by Ante de Kumbo as that one goes in. Ante de Kumbo's got three assists in the game. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Garland against Holiday. Garland kicks to Mitchell. Back to Garland. Allen outside. To the paint. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And a lot of attention on Antetokounmpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. But he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team, words we cannot repeat. And Cleveland making a change here. Green's checked in. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Pass to Levert. It's up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Portis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He kicks it to Allen. In the corner, Middleton with it. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Now the pass to Levert. Mobley trying to free himself up. And it's Levert missing. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Holiday dishes to Middleton. Passes to Giannis. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Honda Dekumbo has got 23 points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Pass to Green. Over Giannis. Here is Mobley. Allen trying to break free. And here is Honda Dekumbo. 23 points in the game. Pass to Holiday. Back to Middleton. And the layup's good off the glass. Middleton's got nine. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Bucks. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The pass to Mobley. To halt the run. Rebound, Milwaukee. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Well, he has such tremendous upside, Evan Mobley. And we've even heard coaches express jealousy that J.B. Bickerstaff gets to coach him. Young big men usually take time to adapt to this league, not him. Beyond the production, you love his maturity and the leadership by example. Now here's Allen. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. And it's Levert missing. And there comes a point when, for the team's sake, you might want to move it. He's hurting them with all of these misses. Right side out of the Kumbo. Gets it to go from eight feet. He's got 25. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. Outside, Green. Back to Garland. Got a piece of it. Mobley, the pass to Allen. Shoots over Portis. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And so Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Takes it down to Middleton. Stolen by Levert. They've got the five-on-three advantage. The floater, and that's two points on the layup. Levert's got four points now in the quarter. And the gracefulness with which Levert 
shoots the basketball. He, he makes that tricky floater look easy. Middleton outside. Passes it to Allen. Edge Portis, high post. Finds himself wide open and drills it. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Pass to Levert. Back to Garland. Mobley outside. Green finds Mobley. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Garland. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Garland, a finalist for most improved player of the year in 2022, took a huge leap forward with his play. This is his first trip to the line tonight. throw good Garland for Garland he put in the work and it all came together for him GA his shooting reached a tipping point what was given the keys as a playmaker and this is a great situation for him and boy he's made the most of it looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers Stevens has checked in and it's Jetty Osman in for Lavert. this is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second Holiday against Rubio. Allen outside. Ingles passes to Crowder. Back to Ingles. This one for three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Here's Osman. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. Now here's Allen, 12 points for him. Crowder, the pass to Allen. Garland with the block. Over Allen, and there's another one for the Cavaliers. He's just a crafty ball handler that does a great job of selling his moves. Garland, this man will hit the break, stop, and pop. Allen outside. Past Ingles. Bucks passing it around. Now here's Crowder. Defense right on him. No good. And Cleveland the other way now. Well, Greg, they're looking to make some big stops here to halt this rally. And luckily, time is on their side, but this is on them. They, they need to play smart here. Now, here's Rubio. And there's the pass to Stevens. And a miss there on the triple. Bucks leading by 14. Holiday goes in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Holiday's got 12. An intense competitor. It's clear that Holiday enjoys going hard at the defense and finishing on it. Here's Osman. Back to Rubio. There's the triple. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And Allen with the nice bucket inside. He's got 17. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Outside Holiday passes it to Crowder. Ingles with the ball. Fader on the way. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. They grab their own miss. Allen, good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Lopez. It's Allen on the win. Stolen by Garland. And now the fast break. Garland with the ball. You appreciate how hard Allen works to be an efficient scorer. He doesn't try and play outside of himself. Holiday surveying the floor. Right side Crowder. 
There's 126 left in the third. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. For Milwaukee, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. Okoro, he's checked in for Jetty Osman. Free throw drops for Ingles. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Pass to Okoro. Now, here's Garland. Rubio, the pass to Allen. Now, here's Okoro. Four on the shot clock. From the arc. Here's Steffens, defended by Crowder. Snatched up. And Jared Allen again. Allen's got 10 points in just the second half. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? 44 seconds left in the third quarter. It's Crowder on the wing. Back to Connaughton. Trying to get open as Lopez. And it's Connaughton missing. And the Cavaliers with possession. They're on a 16-7 run. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Garland. Here's Bochamp. Dishes it to Ingles. Shoots over a Coro. And the basket by Ingles. Ingles has got seven points in the game. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. And so it's Milwaukee with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll return shortly. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Donovan Mitchell is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Levert in at the three spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And you see Middleton on the perimeter a lot, but he's really been trying to add strength to that 6'8 frame so he can mix it up a little more inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Middleton. Middleton hits them both. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Bounce pass from Garland. Mitchell finds Allen. 
Lavert with it. And Garland has it in the corner. Excellent D there from Holiday. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here is Holiday. And the pass to Beauchamp. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Garland. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Cavaliers trail by 12. And Garland has it in the corner. Wound up there for Allen. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. To the inside. And Holiday throws it down. He's an explosive athletic guard. And I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. And so it's Cleveland with it. Mitchell outside. Pass to Mobley. Now Lavert. Poked away. Six on the shot clock. Here's Middleton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws determined shooter who excels at the charity strike. Middleton will gladly head to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Jason Allen's checked in for Milwaukee. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Arlen kicks to Lavert. Pass to Mobley. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Mitchell. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. That one good for two. And the Bucks lead by 18. It's difficult trying to throw Middleton off his rhythm. Remarkable job staying with that shot. Now, here's Mitchell. It's throwing by to Takumbo. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. Here's Middleton. Stolen by Garland. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Taken away by Holiday. Back to Middleton. Inside. And stolen by Mobley. Wound up there for Allen. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. By the looks of it, the Hall of Fame class of 2023, Richard, should be loaded. A lot of big names could be headed to Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful to see two of the biggest rivalries, San Antonio and Dallas. Tony Parker and Dirk Nowitzki are on the ballot. And then there's Mr. Wade, Dwayne Wade. We know about that. So there's going to be a lot of rings walking into that ceremony. A lot of rings indeed. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Garland, the pass to Lavert. Outside Garland, and the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. The Achilles heel of this team right now, turnovers. Here's Milwaukee now. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. No, no, no. 
On the wing, Holiday, guarded by Garland. Middleton can't get it to go. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kicks it to Garland. Levert against Middleton. Here's the teardrop. Six to shoot. And Mitchell gets it to go. And the coaching staff loves this. Mitchell being assertive on offense and just imposing his will. Onto Takumbo against Mobley. Onto Takumbo passes to Allen. And the Bucks miss again. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Pass to Garland. Down low. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Garland. Now the pass to Levert. Elbow shot. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And how about the playmaking skills of Levert? I, I like watching this guy break down the D in the pick and roll. Passes it to Allen. Here's Middleton. Levert defending. Middleton the pass to Allen. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. A classic breakdown with the ball. Sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. Here's Garland. Well, Greg, they're making a valiant effort to come all the way back. Wow. And they need to take care of the basketball. Plenty of time. No need to force anything. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Count the basket. Middleton's got 10 points in the quarter. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Here's Mitchell. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Middleton looking it over. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Allen outside. Three-pointer. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14-second clock. Anadokounmpo, no good. The Cavaliers trail by 18. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Middleton against Mobley. And Middleton kicks to Portis. Shoots over Levert. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Outside Garland. Back to Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And this guy is no stranger to the highlight reel. Mitchell never misses a chance to elevate. Garland against Holiday. Right side, Portis. Over Allen. Out of the combo, trying to break loose. Kicks it out to Allen. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Ricky Rubio checked in for Garland. Milwaukee with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Rubio, the pass to Levert. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. It's deflected. And here's the break. Looking to get it going. And the layup is up and in. Levert's got four points this quarter. Makes the most of his long arms defensively. You just have to be careful when dribbling around Levert. Timeout called the Bucks. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. 
He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Milwaukee leading by 16. Giannis outside. He kicks to Allen. Pass to Middleton. The Bucks working the ball around. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Rubio. Allen dishes to Holiday. Back to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell against Holiday. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And so Allen will bring it up now for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now Rubio. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Bounce pass, Holiday. Shoots from eight. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Here's Mobley, and he banks in the layup. And you can't let Mobley roam free on the offensive glass. This is how you get burned. Here's Holiday. Allen outside. There's the pass to Andre Kumbo. Back to Allen. Can they get it? They get it again. Hits it down to Middleton. To the middle. Here's Yachts. A shot missing. Good D by Mobley. It's so about it to Kumbo. Passes it to Portis. In the corner, Middleton with it. No good on the three. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Mitchell with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Rubio misses. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, and right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through. Nice shot by Portis. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. And here's Rubio. Pass to Levert. Back to Rubio. Pass to Mitchell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game, but... Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple All-Star seasons. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Garland is checked in for Cleveland. Mitchell drops them both. Here's Giannis. The pass to Allen. Fires from deep. There's Portis. And Portis throws it down. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now, here's Garland. Allen, right side. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Onto Takumbo, passes to Holiday. Richard, 2004 was the last time that the NBA expanded. Now, some say Seattle and maybe Las Vegas 
could before long have teams of their own. What do you think? Oh, please give me Seattle back. Please give me Vegas back. Do you know what I would give to have those two cities back in our league and to have to travel to them? Look, but you must have deep pockets. Let's be honest with yourself. The franchises now are selling for over $3 billion. You got to think that the expansion fee will at least be that much per team. Here's Levert following the basket by Giannis. Now, here's Mitchell. And it's blocked. They recover it. We have seen Allen look more for his offense over the years, which in turn draws the D's attention. And the first one drops. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Robin Lopez is checked in for Mobley. Osman comes in for Karis Levert. Green is checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Garland. And he makes both free throws. Here is Carter. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Bucks. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And, and not only are they on their way to winning this game, this also gives them a win in the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis. And there is no question his defense set the tone for his team and gave them the rim protection they needed. Outstanding effort. And that one's good, Osman. 26 seconds left in the game. Carter outside. Pass to Bochamp. It's Matthews on the wing, guarded by Green. Offensive rebound. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Chris. You see Giannis every day. He seems to still come up big every time. He's showing how great he is. I mean, he's been consistent all year. He's been a threat in the paint. He's been a great leader, too. So, I mean, he's having a, a heck of a year. And we need him to be that player, that great player for us. He's certainly performing at that level. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone.